Hello there. In this video, we will be learning about the working of a simple microscope. But before that, let's first understand the visual angle of an object. The visual angle of an object is the angle that an object subtends at the eye. In simple words, it tells how big an object appears to us. For an example, this is the human eye and this is an object in front of the human eye. Now, if I draw this particular angle, let's say I call this as theta. So this is the angle that the object is subtending at the eye. More this angle, more bigger the object will appear to us. So what's happening is that the light ray from this object will be meeting at the point on the retina and here the image would be created. More this angle means more this particular angle because they are vertically opposite angle and hence a bigger image will be obtained on the retina. Now one of the interesting properties of the human eye is that the lens in our eye has a flexible focal length. What it means that there are the ciliary muscles that can adjust the size of the focal length but this can happen only till a certain value. For an example, you can bring the object closer in order to magnify it but that can only happen till the object is at the near distance that is 25 cm. If you try to bring the object closer than 25 cm, the ciliary muscles would not be able to converge the light rays onto the retina and hence a clear image would not be created. So let's say the height of the object is HO. So we can say in this particular situation, tan theta would be equal to H0 divided by 25 cm. Now let's say if theta equals to alpha, so I can say tan alpha would be equal to H0 divided by 25 centimeter and in reality this angle is very very small so we can say that if the angle is very very small tan alpha would approximately be equal to alpha thus we can say alpha is equal to height of object divided by 25 centimeter if this alpha can be increased somehow if this angle can somehow be increased then the object will appear magnified to us let's take the example of a convex lens so if we take a convex lens such that this is the optical center of the convex lens this is twice the focal length one this is focal length one this is the focus two and this is twice the focus we can also call this as center of curvature 2. We can also call this as center of curvature 1. You might be familiar with the ray diagrams when the object is kept between the focus and the optical center. We can say one of the light ray would go like this and the light ray that is parallel to the principal axis will go from the principal focus something like this and we can also draw another light ray that will, that will go via the optical center and it will go undeviated straight like this. Now you can see that these two light rays are diverging away. So in order to get the image, we'll have to extend them. And in this particular scenario, the image so created would be virtual and erect. So here we can draw the image so created and you can yourself see that the height of image is much bigger than the height of object. So from here, if you are looking this object, it appears much enlarged. And this is exactly what a simple microscope is. So, when an object is placed between the optical center and the principal focus of the convex lens, it forms virtual erect and magnified image on the same side of the lens as the object. Let's say this object AB, we have kept at a distance less than 25 centimeter. So, let's say this is the distance of the object from the lens. We can call it as UE. And this UE is less than 25 centimeters. And let's say this angle, the visual angle in this case is beta. Now, if UE is less than 25 centimeter, we can very well see that this beta has to be greater than alpha. So ultimately, the image would be magnified. In this case, we can define magnification as beta divided by alpha, as in how much the angle got increased with respect to the initial angle that was when the object was at the near point of the normal human eye. If we carefully see this particular triangle, we can say that in this triangle that tan beta will be equal to perpendicular by base. Perpendicular in this case would be H0 divided by base would be UE. 
and considering the angle is very very small so tan beta would roughly be equal to beta so beta would be equal to h naught divided by ue in order to find the magnification for a simple microscope we can say the magnification is equal to beta divided by alpha so beta as we have just found out is equal to height of object divided by ue that is the distance of the object from the human eye divided by alpha that was height of object divided by 25 centimeter and this 25 centimeter can simply be written as capital D that is the near point of a normal human eye we can write this as height of object divided by UE times capital D divided by H naught height of object and height of object gets cancelled and the formula we get is D divided by UE so the formula for magnification of a simple microscope comes out to be capital D divided by UE where capital D is the near point distance of a normal human eye that is 25 centimeter. So this is how the magnification works in the case of simple microscope. I hope you are now familiar with the ray diagram of a simple microscope and its magnification. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.